Today we're going to be doing a wonderful tutorial with this thing right here, which looks basically just like a bit of memory foam, which it is, but this is the Stands Out Makeup Sponge. And I can't wait to talk all about this, show you guys it in action and how much I am loving this. Let me just start this video by saying to you that I had this sponge about three years ago when it came out. I used it once and I put it to the side because I felt like, you know what, that just, does not work for me. It is not something that is going to work for me. But I know that Risa from Risa Does Makeup, she uses hers all the time and she talks about it all the time. But what really got me was there was a, another person on TikTok and she was a mature woman and she was showing how she used this all the way through her routine of doing her makeup and how amazing it was. So I'm about to show you my makeup application on my 54 year old face, how this sponge does, how I use it in between also to get a beautiful airbrushed finish on all of my makeup. But right now I do wanna put up on the screen right here, this blouse, I am not feeling the greatest, so I'm not gonna stand up right now. I just wanna show you what I have on. I also wanna show you that I have on the cutest pair of gold kind of chunky hoop earrings. I love these, I've been wearing them like crazy and they go with so many things. Let's get into the tutorial using this very unassuming, weird shaped sponge. I don't know how they do it, but they do it and I love it. So I'm starting out, I'm using the KVD Good Apple Cream foundation. I have been, really been enjoying this lately because it is one of those ones that you use so very little, but if you're a mature woman, a cream foundation can be a really good friend to you because it hides perfections with very minimal product. The other thing is that since it's a cream, it's going to give you a lot of hydration. So I'm using the BK Beauty 107 brush right now. I hope that's a 107. It's a 107 brush. So I'm going to just put this across my skin, we're gonna do this side. And you know, as I'm doing this, I want you to keep in mind that usually when you use a brush, you need a very small amount for coverage. And that is true in this case as well, as with any other foundation, if you're using a liquid or anything like that, you usually need so very little. For me, it's gonna require a little bit more, especially around my neck bands. Those are really bad. I don't know exactly why I wore a white shirt today, but the neck bands are really bad. And then I also go down onto my chest because the discoloration there is bad. So yes, there is always a little bit of transfer, but that's what happens. Okay, I have put one coat on. That was really simple, really easy, but I do have a little bit of extra that I want to just look at right here and underneath my eyes. I may not use a concealer today. I may just use this foundation because it has such pretty coverage and I love it. All right, beautiful coverage, right? It's just such a nice foundation. However, with using the Stands Out Makeup Sponge, you can use almost less than you used with the brush. That's because you're just tapping into it very slightly. See how much it picked up? That amount is going to completely cover the whole side of my face though. So pretty, and we're gonna go underneath the eyes. I'm trying to pick up about the same amount that I did with the brush, to be fair, on both sides. And you can see how pretty it is just blending in everything underneath my eyes where all that discoloration was. And again, we're gonna go down the neck onto the neck bands and down onto the decollete. And I need to cover up this little zit that I got going right here. All right, that's one coat. I don't need to go back in necessarily with another coat with the sponge because it did such a good job. However, I do feel like I need a little bit more coverage underneath the eyes, just like I did on the other side. But if you could see me close up, you would see that I really do feel like this side looks airbrushed and this side looks like it could get a little bit more attention and getting a little bit more perfected. So I'm gonna take this sponge and I'm not using more product because they didn't put any more product on it, but I am going to go over all of this makeup on this side with the sponge 
to make it look airbrushed. So if you do use a brush when you're doing your makeup, then you might want to think about going back over it with the sponge. And what happens is the most beautiful coverage, no matter what foundation you use. I've used this with liquid. I've used it with tinted moisturizers. I've used it with just about anything and it is phenomenally beautiful. Okay, I've been using the BK Beauty 109 brush. This is their new middle brush between the Angie Hot and Flashy concealer brush and their foundation brush. And I've been using it to apply my bronzer and I really like it. So I'm using Danessa Myrick's bronzer. This actually, this is called, considered her contour balm. I love the texture of this. I love how this blends so well with my very light skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this everywhere that I normally would, which I'm gonna start out right up here in the hairline because that is my most troublesome area where I need help disguising this super high forehead. And as you can see, the brush is doing a really good job. It's making sure that it looks very blended. I like that about it very much. And then I'm gonna turn this brush and I'm gonna go high on the cheek here, down here on the jowls. I'm blending everything now. So I'm just going in and I'm putting this brush to work and blending everything and making sure that it all gets blended around. That's a beautiful application with just the brush. But what happens when I go back in with the Stands Out Makeup Sponge again? What happens is it's going to perfect even more. Once again, we're going to see a more blended look. I don't know if you can see this, but boy, I am seeing it. It just really has perfected it. It doesn't take up much of the makeup onto here, onto the sponge itself, but it does perfect the blending process. This is Lunch Money from the Super Shock line from ColourPop, and I'm putting this on with a fairly dense brush, and I'm just gonna go right here onto my cheeks. My viewfinder's right here, so I have a tendency to look that way, and I apologize for that. I'm trying to look straight on into the camera. You can see how absolutely gorgeous Lunch Money is. It just looks so pretty. Gorgeous beaming highlighter, but we're gonna go back over it with the sponge one more time, and we're gonna take a peek at what it looks like. Even though I don't have my blush on yet, it's still softening that every single time. You're layering different creams or different powders or whatever on top of each other and you want a more seamless look. It, the trick is to take this unique sponge and just go over and over and over it and you'll see that in the next few minutes. Found a really beautiful blush on Amazon and we're gonna try it. It is a very liquidy blush. You can see it right there. I'm not going to put it directly onto my face, but you can see how pretty it is and how thin it is. I'm going to use the other side of the sponge, not the side that I was working with to blend everything out, the other side of the sponge. So I'm just picking it up and I'm dabbing it around so that when I do dab it onto my face, it won't be quite so much there at one time. And you will be able to see how pretty this blush is and I actually don't know if you saw that or not as I was blending right then. It really did show that I was making little dots um, from, from picking it up off my hand. But as soon as I went back in and I started to tap it around, super quickly it blended out the imperfection of having that blush just be in one spot. I'm just taking the rest of what's on the sponge and I'm gonna go around the face and kind of just get everything blended together so that it looks all cohesive and all pretty. And oh my goodness, I love the softness in this. You can see my highlighter underneath. Now I'm gonna go back over it with that other side that we were just talking about. And I'm just going to dab everything. Even under my eyes, I'm going to do that. It's so pretty this way. I'm gonna go in with the LA Colors Mineral Pressed Powder. This is one that I've got a while ago on recommendation from one of you. And I'm using the BK Beauty 102 brush, really fluffy blending, or really fluffy powder brush. This is beautiful. I'm going to just go in very lightly because I wanna set that under eye. So I'm dabbing it into there and then I'm kind of just wiping it off in the lid. I'm going into the parts where I know it creases. Then I'm going a little bit underneath my eyes, going underneath the cheek bone there and making sure that everything is dusted together 
with the brush. Brush is a beautiful tool for applying powder, especially for a mature woman, because what happens is when you're applying it, you can get really heavy handed if you're using a powder puff. Now, what am I going to do this time? I'm going to go back in and I'm going to make sure that all of that powder just looks so softened. And then lastly, I'm going to take the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Diamond Setter Setting Spray. Nice mister on this. I was really pleased with this. Put the spray on pretty thick there, so I'm just going to take the sponge and go over everything. If you haven't tried that spray yet, it is really pretty. It does add to the luminosity if you're looking for a glowy look this summer. It's really beautiful. It looks quite um, iridescent. That's not a really good word. It just looks really dewy without looking shiny, and I really like wearing it. All right, I'm gonna put my lipstick on. I'll be right back. My lipstick combination is from Maybelline, one of their crayons, and then also I'm gonna top this with a little bit of gloss from Juvia's Place. You can see that that gloss looks a little bit gold. It's not really gold, but it really does help make that lipstick look just super beautiful. All right, I was able to put some earrings on. I hope that you did enjoy seeing this tutorial. This little sponge has been invaluable to me and I hope that you enjoyed seeing it. I will continue to look for a dupe because at $20, I do feel like it's a little bit expensive, but I've been using this nonstop for about two and a half months now, maybe longer, and there's no tears, there's no rips, and I'm pretty cautious about making sure that it is clean at least three or four times a week. So it's being cleaned a lot, it still stands up. It's a gorgeous product that when I first got it, I didn't know what I had. Now I do, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. Have you tried this sponge before? And if you have, please tell me how you've liked it or not liked it down in the comment section. I'd love to hear that from you. Please take care of yourselves. Come back around in my next video. I love you so much and we'll be together again very soon. Take care my friends. Goodbye.